Hey guys, um, Zachary here from Amazon, and I'm with uh, James. Hi. James Blue from a senior manager of product marketing yes. at Huawei. Um, you do EMUI and also Harmony OS. Since Huawei sort of announced Harmony OS, there's, there's been a lot of um, rumors yeah. uh, and, and reports that, that came out. We've done quite a lot of them um, okay. on Amazon. And I, I kind of just want to bounce a couple of, of these things off you to see. Uh, okay. You can tell me if they're true or not, uh, okay. or whether it's complete rubbish. Okay. And, and maybe you can elaborate a bit on that. First thing first, mm -hmm. there's been a lot of names that popped up. Um, Hongming, Ark, okay. you know, <laughs> Oak, yeah. Harmony OS. Are all these things, um, are they all one and the same? Uh, the only official name for this OS is Harmony OS. So all the other name is, is not correct. Not correct. Okay. Uh, okay. We're, not, we're not encouraging them to use other names. Okay. Um, there was also uh, reports that Huawei's own OS is 60% faster than Android <laughs> and works on Mac OS and runs iOS X. Uh, first about performance, okay. Uh, Harmony OS uses deterministic latency engine, okay, which uh, identifies the priority of the different uh, uh, services and tasks in the apps, mm -hmm. so we can ensure that the uh, uh, the high priority apps has dedicated resources, okay, which is uh, uh, um, all the way from chipset level. Okay. Okay. So this delivers a much better performance. Uh, right now, it's uh, about uh, five times better than the than three to five times better than the industry, uh, uh, industry average. And in terms of what kind of apps it runs, uh, uh, the statement is not correct. Okay. It does not run iOS apps. It does not run Android apps. Okay. It runs Harmony OS apps. Okay. And, uh, but we are uh, developing uh, tools so that uh, the developers could port their apps uh, to the Harmony OS app version. Yeah, you've talked about uh, creating apps, how easy it is to create apps right, for multiple devices. But I think the problem with putting this as a commercial product is developing apps across OS, as I mean. Uh -huh. right, the reason why um, like iOS is always developed first because it's the widest. So yeah. now people have to develop for iOS, develop for Android, develop for Harmony OS. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that? First of all, let's ask this question. Why uh, today developers need to face different OS? Um, go back to that question. Because today's different devices run on different OS. Yeah. Okay. Every time I talk about Harmony OS, uh, I talk about there must be a foundation. That foundation is all these devices speak the same language. Okay? All these devices run on the same OS. Okay? So that's why we're trying, what we are, the first thing we're trying to, to make Harmony OS work is Harmony OS should work across devices. Okay? If Harmony OS works across devices, and then, then the, 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 the user only needs to develop OS for Harmony OS. And because uh, that, that otherwise this issue will, will always exist. Okay. We hope that um, we'll have this OS, one OS should cover as many devices as possible. Okay. That, yeah. Does that mean how many OS should take over the world? Uh, one OS, right, you said? Uh, how, one, okay, so first of all, I don't think there's any OS will take the world. Okay? Okay. You always have Windows and Mac. You have Android OS. Okay, so in, uh, it's always good to have to have uh, varieties. Okay, uh, but but one of the other things we we think important is, is openness in the future. Okay, so that's why we're making uh, Android. Uh, oh, sorry, we're, we're making Harmony OS uh, open source. Okay, so that in the future. Uh, that that Harmony OS is not just Huawei's OS; it's, it's everybody's OS. Man. You could you could take Harmony OS and and, and, and modify and customize and and load it along on your own device. Okay, so to follow up on that. Mm -hmm. um, Harmony OS is a microkernel OS, yeah. and you've talked about how um, you can uh, 
distribute it yeah. to different devices, yeah. virtualize different devices. Um, does that mean that I can, or, or a developer can use Harmony OS with their own um, software? Yeah. So, so I don't actually have to have a full fledged uh, yeah, OS on, on, on your devices. Okay. Okay, another fun fact. Huawei does not actually have uh, OS replacement for Android. Mm -hmm. And Harmony is not an OS replacement for Android. Is that true? We, you say Har Harmony OS is not an Android replacement. Okay. Uh, that's correct. What Harmony OS uh, is, is a micro kernel based. Yeah. This is the OS for all scenarios. So it's, all, it's targeted for the future connected world. Okay. okay. And uh, uh, so that's what harm, how we position Harmony OS. But can Harmony OS replace Android if you want it on phones? Okay, so uh, technically speaking, uh, that uh, right now for the smartphone, uh, we are we will be continue using Android for as long as we can. Okay, but for Harmony OS, we'll be making them ready uh, on the smartphone just in case we're not able to use Android anymore, and we're already working on that. Okay. Well, there you have it. Um, yeah. So Huawei will still be using, as far as phones are concerned, Android phone and for yeah. phone and tablets for as long as you can. Yes. But Harmony OS is ready to yeah. be rolled out yeah. if needed. Yes. Otherwise, Harmony OS is a sort of ecosystem yeah. for, for future for connected world. Future connected world. Yeah. And there you have it. Okay. <laughs> James Luke. Okay, thank you. Thanks for your questions. Okay.